Hello everybody, my name's Isaiah and amongst my heavy study load this past week or so, um, I was watching a few Predator interviews and I came across the funniest fucking thing I've seen in a long, long time. <laughs> and if you haven't seen the Timothy Kine interview, you have to see it. It is absolutely gold. He's become one of my new favorite predators. You know, I, I, and I get predator bipolar, so <laughs> that doesn't really say much. But at the moment, I'm loving this guy. He's classic. And what I'm about to show you is one of the funniest things I've seen in such a long time. Just take a look. I, I would not have had sex with a child. I'm sorry. So this, honestly, this whole interview so far has just been them trying to get him to say, <laughs> well, every interview is just them trying to get him to say, have, have you, do you want to have sex with a child? Were you here to do that? But they were really pushing him. Like compared to other interviews where they sort of don't force it, they kind of allude to it slightly here and there and and as the interview progresses they'll get more harsh and you know try and really attack the predator later but from the get-go of this interview they are pummeling this guy like tell us right now was she uh did you come to meet a minor he's he was meeting a boy i believe a 13 year old boy but and then this happens, he's, you know, it's been an hour and 16 minutes of him saying, no, I didn't come to see a kid. He thought the kid was, oh, he didn't think it was a kid. He thought it was an 18-year-old. Basically, that's his argument. I did not come up here to meet a child to have sex with a child. Tim, you talk to him about the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Oh, my God. He talked to him about the Easter Bunny and his face, it just tells, like a picture tells a thousand words. This picture shows like a billion words. He is absolutely shocked at this point because I think he forgot he said that. And if you're talking about the fucking Easter Bunny, <laughs> it's, it's got to be a kid. And don't forget, I think she went back she had a break, I think, and was reading through the chat log outside. And she must have come across it and just said, bingo, how are you going to defend yourself here? An Easter basket. God, everybody, I got an Easter basket. You ask him if he still believed in the Easter bunny. Don't tell me you thought he was eight. <laughs> He still believes, oh my god, that is the funniest thing. If you ever want to incriminate yourself, <laughs> that's what you say. If you're trying to solicit minor from a sex and you really want to go to jail, just ask the minor if they believe in the <laughs> Easter Bunny. Trust me, that's your one-way ticket to jail. This guy, like, there's no way you could defend yourself from here. And this is what he says in his defense. I did not ask somebody if they... You absolutely ask him. No. Do you still believe in Easter? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's just denying it. And I... You know what? I want to try and find this. I'll try to find it later. But, look, I... That, why would she... She wouldn't lie. I think he does say that. She wouldn't lie about that. She can't. It, that is absolutely so classic. And he's been, you know, just defending himself the whole time. You know, he was talking about school, and she's like, you, you can't talk about school with an adult. And he's like, yeah, an 18-year-old goes to high school still. And then he was talking about license, and he's like, yeah, an 18-year-old may not have their license. And then the Easter Bunny thing, trust me, there's no... If an 18-year-old believes in the Easter Bunny still, they're probably the biggest mama's boy. They would not be on the internet trying to fuck you, like... <laughs> Someone on the internet trying to have sex, looking for sex, would not believe in the Easter Bunny, I'm telling you right now. Oh, yeah. And it's in black and white. Now, come off of it. He can't even look at Can her. He, he hasn't even looked at her because he knows. He's shaking his head. 
he's distraught here. Fuck off. Any judge is going to see that. Any jury is going right. to see that. And they're going to say, this guy is absolutely a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that just shows it right there. His face just goes straight to the ground. You'll notice that he really struggles to give eye contact with this lady. And she's a great detective. Like, I fucking love her in the um, John Wesley Elliott police interrogation. She's great in that. But because he's lying so much, he struggles to give eye contact. Now, he, I believe he got something like 40 months in prison. So, like, you know, a couple years um and I'm pretty sure he got a 20-year, um, what's the word? Some sort of like 20-year parole. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but he got like a, oh, supervision. Some sort of suspended supervision. I'm not too fancy with all that, but um, he got a pretty tough sentence. Well, he needs I guess to it's going to have to go that far. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to have to go that far, meaning like, he doesn't want to, you know, give in here at this point. He wants to give in at the jury. If if he's going to be found guilty, he's not going to be found guilty today with her. He's not going to let her win. If anyone wants to win, it's the jury. And he's being all cocky. He thinks he's beaten her. But, you know, he might win this battle, but he's going to lose the war. And the war is fucking, um, <laughs> you know, his life. Whether he's going to go to jail or not. You know, it's going to have to go that far, though. Because, I, you know, I'm not a pedophile. I'm not after, you know, that's not what I was after. What were you after, Tim? Huh? You were after a relationship with the third... <laughs> <laughs> It's been an hour and 17... You don't understand. If you haven't seen this, it's been an hour and 17 minutes of him continuously saying... I came to meet an 18-year-old, and if I liked them, things would have gone further. If I didn't, I would have left. There was no 13-year-old mentioned. It's an hour and 17 minutes of that. And she asks him, what were you going to do <laughs> for like the 50th time? And his reaction is just, oh, it's gold, comedy gold. 13-year-old. I did not realize he was 13 years old. There's no way. Do you generally talk to 18-year-olds about the Easter Bunny? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. What do you talk about the Easter Bunny with? Like, how can you talk about the Easter Bunny with an 18-year-old and sound like an intelligent human being? It's just a ploy. It's just something to create excitement. I don't know. It, it's for children. It's not for adults. And... Like, I really want to see this in the chat log. I might go try and find it in a minute. Um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Yeah. But I, you know, I got an Easter to basket, about for God's sakes. Going to high school. What's that got to do with the Easter bunny? Okay, so I just got the chat log open in the background here. Um... So it starts here. So he does mention the Easter Bunny. He starts talking about she is too lovely. She is too lovable dog. He's talking about his dog. Yeah, she likes everybody sweet. Then he's like, you excited for tomorrow? Because tomorrow is Easter. No, not really. Lol. I wonder if my mum's going to hide a basket for me. Would a, bar would a mum really do that for an 18-year-old? <clears throat> Look, I know <clears throat> they can do that, but it's more for the parents' sake. The parents want to feel connected with their children. They want the old days back where, you know, they had little children running around the house. <clears throat> A lot of parents do that to reminisce and, you know, remember the old times of when their kids were younger. But come off, come off it, man. Like, seriously, mums only hide baskets for little kids. <laughs> Oh, though, I bet she will. I don't know, maybe. She did last year. Cool, cool. Mine too. So he had a basket hid for him. I don't know. It's probably some family event he went to and the adults got involved. 
That's the only thing I can think of. She wouldn't come around to him. Actually, he did, I think, live like really close to his mum. He's in between jobs. He's an electrician. He kind of, I don't know if he lost his job or he left it, but he's really on the low end of money and he's trying to um, get back up, obviously. And I think he may be living with his mum. So that's maybe why she gave him a basket. But if not living with her, he lives very close, as in like less than a 10-minute walk. So she probably went and took him a basket to make him feel better. But hiding a basket, that's different to someone bringing chocolates over in a basket. Then the kid says, even though she know I know it ain't really, meaning in English, even though I know it's not real. Yours did? Tim, yeah, lol. I hope you don't think it is real. Now, you don't say that to someone (laughs) who's over the age of 18. Come on. Wink, what are you talking about? Easter bunny, lol. So why are you, why are not you out with your friends tonight? And again, a 13 year old doesn't go out after 11.47 p.m. And then look, I can't drive nowhere for one. And you're watching TV, yeah, why aren't you out? Well, you can't drive anywhere, obviously, because he's 13. Now, I want to see when this says, um, 13. Hi, like the pit cute guy. You busy? Yo, no, sorry, it's up. 13, male, Cincy area, you. That's cool. See? 13. I'm 30. Age difference, okay. Exactly, because he's 13 and he just said he's 13. Like, seriously, it's absolutely unbelievable. They've got the chat log, dude. And look, again... He mentions here like 14 or 15, I think, in regards to, um, have you been with a guy before? The guy's absolutely delusional. I'm glad he went to jail for a couple of years. It's beautiful. (laughs) Anyway, I just wanted a short video showing you that. It was hilarious. I was dying. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, see ya.